Hey guys, Suns fan here with a chest opening video, the Treasure of the Enigmatic Wanderer, which is the Captain's Draft 3.0 chest, which I'm going to show you guys in just a moment. But first, I need to preface this video because I know there's going to be a lot of misinformation going around, a lot of questions of people that just don't understand what's going on in the workshop right now. Since Reborn's come out, cosmetics have kind of flopped to some degree. Um, and a lot of that has to do because it's a brand new engine and you can't just copy paste what you had in Source 1. But things are finally starting to get back on track. But there are some restrictions currently in place uh, that you should be aware of in case you're not already. So first and foremost, particles right now, just not allowed. It's just not a thing for third party sets whatsoever. So that is a, just a big no-no and I'm hoping in the future that's going to be changed. But right now it's a hard no. And the second thing they had, need to be aware of uh, people complain, why don't you have sets for these other heroes? I've never had, like, Ancient Apparition only has, like, one Immortal Helm. Shadow Fiend has an Arcana. Why don't you make items for these heroes? Well, you can't. You simply are not able to upload these heroes yet because they haven't been broken apart for uh, third-party use. So that's another thing that I know Valve is working on as well, so that's going to be something to look forward to in the future. But putting all those things together, we had to think about what kind of a chest we wanted to make because... A lot of these heroes have been seen so many times. They have so many freaking items. It's actually getting insane, right? And I, I mean, I, it's not that I don't understand what people are complaining about. It's that sometimes they just don't understand what the situation is right now. So with that in mind, we figured we'd pick some heroes that maybe aren't uh, the most popular. And a good way to gauge this is if you look at some other chests in the past, these sets are picked specifically for heroes that are top 10 most played. And they don't care about how many sets. There's a reason the top 10 most played have like a million sets, because everybody wants to make sets for them. So we figured we'd make some sets, or have some sets into the chest that were kind of the less popular heroes, but at the same time, make sets for them that are, in my opinion, the best on the market. And I feel like we've done that, but you guys can be the judge if you want. So, back to the chest. Uh, the front page doesn't quite have it yet on the treasure section here, the, the spotlighted area. But if you go to the store or online, you should be able to see the treasure of the enigmatic, enigmatic wander. That is a mouthful, to say the least. So if you click it, first of all, big shout out to Black Phoenix and Trung, who helped make this, uh, this treasure icon. It is, in fact, a hippo, which is pretty freaking awesome, if I do say so myself. So it comes with five sets overall, one of which is rare. So let, let's let's take a little gander at what we got here. So this is a set that got uh, noticed on Reddit, made by Trunk TH and Crown Tail. It's called the Narcissistic Leech set for Pugna. I mean, okay, I'm going to be super biased, and I know that, but you guys can at least understand why that is. But best Pugna set ever made, for sure. And I feel like this hero, even though he's not played so much, uh, he really needed some better cosmetics, to be perfectly honest. All right, so we got that bad boy. Next, this one, uh, the Spirit Breaker set called the Elemental Realms. I have to look at the names now because Valve changed a bunch of these. This set was created by Kunka and Random Smiley Face Guy. Uh, we've actually had to remake this set twice. Uh, it was, I guess a lot of people don't know. We were trying to do a Captain's Draft 3 about uh, 8 eight months ago. It just didn't get off the ground and this is one of the sets that was there but we had to redesign it a bit. I'm really happy with how it came out. You can't quite see from this angle. I can't really move it up or down but his shoulder pieces are actual faces. I guess you can see it on the, the bracer as well. Really like that and I really love the freaking weapon. The weapon is the coolest part I think of this set for sure. Alright, next set is an Abaddon set called the Enveloping Despair. This was created by Level 45. This set when I first saw it, I was like, holy crap. And a lot of people look at the mount and they're like, wow, that's a sweet mount for me. And I think the thing that you'll notice more when you're playing it in game, it's the cloak. Although in this particular thing, you can see there's clipping, but that shouldn't be like that in game. The cloak is actually so sick. So when you think about a hero and you're making a set for him, when you're actually playing the game, the most important part is what you see on the screen, right? And the thing I think that differentiates the most with this set is actually, well, obviously the mount, but the cloak itself as well. So really happy with this set. And then one I'm really excited about is the Sand King set, the Ironclad Mold, created by Crown Tail and Trunk TH. They have two sets in this chest. Sand King, my god. The I've kind of liked some Sand King sets in the past, but none of them have really blown me away. I've been waiting for something really awesome, and... 
this one's just fucking insane. I love this set so much. I cannot wait to use it. And last but not least, the rare, the bonus reward, very rare actually, is a Leshrac set called the Lord of Chronoptic Synthesis. That actually might be the same name that we used. Not sure. Uh, this set was created by Kunkka and Conras. And another set for a hero that just doesn't really have that much, to be perfectly honest. And I think this changes them a lot more than the past ones as well. So really freaking happy with this chest. And remember, 10% of the proceeds will go, oops, will go to the prize pool of Captain's Draft 3.0. So obviously I technically own all these sets because that's what happens when you're part of the chest. You get these self-mades, but I bought four of them, so we can just do the old-fashioned open a roof for two. So let's let's give it a shot. I wish I knew what the chances are to get the lesh, because it would be interesting to know like the actual uh, chances were. All right, we got the the old pugna. Let's open another. Oh, and something I forgot to mention. And this came as kind of a surprise. I say that the particles don't change, but technically, I don't know if you consider it a particle or a uh, animation. It's listed as an animation. If you go to Leshrac right here, I saw this originally. I was like, okay, cool. And you hover over his weapon, and it says animation. We went in game, and the particles of his auto attack are actually different. So technically speaking, that is different. Oh, I have to show this loading screen because this is fucking ridiculously good. This is going to go on my wall for sure. Unreal. Kunkka, you have outdone yourself yet again. Okay, let's open some more. In fact, the loading screens for all these are really freaking good. But Oh, we didn't get the rare! Alright, last chance, boys and girls. I wonder what we're getting here. Boy, shocking material. Alright, so we did not get the rare, unfortunately. If you guys buy the chest and get the rare, go ahead and tweet at me, if you don't mind. Bucket, you're going to come up here? Oh, can you see him? He actually made it. It's too late, though, boy. It's too late. Uh, if you get the rare, just tweet me at SunsFanTV. Because I'm actually interested to know what the chances are. Because sometimes, uh, like, I don't know the actual probability, but I've heard in the past they've changed it between, like, 1 in 250, 1 in 25 was, like, the lowest at one point, or the easiest way to get it or the highest probability but I have absolutely no idea what the uh, what the chances are. Oh, it looks like they actually yeah they updated the graphic here for the ticket. That's good. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We're gonna come out with more videos showing the individual sets if you aren't sure if you want to purchase it or not. Uh, we'll be showing them off one by one uh, and then we'll have an SFM in a day or two as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, let us know what you guys think and until next time, Suns fans signing out. Bye-bye.